a significant part of your collection consists of indigenous art, Pacific Northwest mm -hmm. art. And I, you know, I wonder if you could talk about how that fits into your collection or the role of native art in, in your conception of Pacific Northwest art. We have not just masks, but we have feasting bowls. We have a beautiful blanket box. Mm -hmm. All of our collection have come with very clean provenances. None of it is of any controversy. And in doing that, we also got to meet the carvers and because they were fellow artists. And so we loved that. We loved knowing the, the artists, knowing the, the culture they came from. And especially I loved that the iconography of those masks is 150 years old and it hasn't changed. They're still carving that and they're still holding their culture alive. So those masks represent a great deal to us in in all kinds of ways, not just collecting artifacts, but the significance of of holding their culture mm -hmm. and representing their culture. I mean, growing up in in this part of the country, we're surrounded by Pacific Northwest art, and it's always I've always associated it with with home. You know, I've always associated that aesthetic with this place, this part of the world. I think as a region in both popular culture and deeper culture. It's everywhere in our, in our particular region. Every, from coffee mugs you buy down on the pier to great mask at the Seattle Art Museum that has a fabulous collection. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it is the First Nation peoples are finally getting their due recognition as a cultural cornerstone of our culture. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think no art collection in the Pacific Northwest is complete without, yeah, yeah, without I Native agree. art. Yeah. Yeah. 